All right. Hi, everybody. I'm Chris. We're going to talk about uh, list formatting, but also some tools that are going to help make that a little easier. So let's take a look. So one of the things we talked about uh, last week was the idea of using emojis in your formats. And there's all sorts of options there. You can do a lot of stuff with those. Uh, so go check out that video on the YouTube channel if you're interested in that. Today, I want to talk more about the icon. So the icons are a great way to really enhance things. Because they're the same icons that are used by you know SharePoint everywhere, it's a great way to make your solutions fit in and kind of match the same style so they're not distracting or glaringly obvious that they're you know not a part of the UI. Uh, but really just can act as enhancements. You can see on the screen here, we've got some examples. All right, so this is just using buttons and using these icons directly from uh, Fluent UI. And you can see that they're actually matched the same ones that are in the interface, right? So if I select one of these, and you can see the edit icon all matches the share, you know, delete all that. So that's a really nice thing here. So now we can take advantage of that. Um, and putting those in as simple as just typing in the name. So there's some other examples of using those icons, right? So over here, are kind of our classic severity, right? So we've got this. Uh, you know, a nice color here, but then an icon that really kind of indicate what this status column really means. So adding a little icons here and there as needed, both their buttons or just you know side by side things can really indicate what you're trying to accomplish, right? Add into a link when you're trying to do a mail to, add a little envelope there. Uh, again, great way to kind of indicate to your users. So if there's no instruction document you got to write with this, it's pretty easy to do. If we go over to our horses site, right? We use these in the Warrior Horses site all the time. Uh, so if we take a look, we've used this a few different times, right? So we've used uh, things like icons here to indicate our drink preferences. Go over to our things list. Uh, we've got things like the check mark icons or checkbox icons here to indicate whether this is a task or not. Really makes that much more obvious that it is a task. We've even shown in the past calls some advanced things like overlaying icons on top of each other, right? So we've taken the health icon, laid it over the heart fill icon, right? We created a nice a uh, pretty picture here. We've gone even further over here. We've done the same thing with the emoji type icons, and we've added a little status icon. So again, you can see there's a lot to do here. So let's talk about how you do that and what are some cool tools to make that even easier. So if I go to column settings, I'm going to format this column. And this is a sample that's available, so I'm just going to delete it. And we'll take a look here. So adding an icon is as simple as, we'll preview that so we can just see that the icon's gone. To add in icons as simple as just typing in things like helm type, All right? And we'll do a div, you can do a span, you can do whatever you need to. And then adding attributes, add another squiggly here. And I'm going to say icon name. And here's where we just type in an icon, right? So if I've got like a, kind of a vehicle themed or transportation type icon, I can choose bus, right? I'm going to make that a little bigger so we can see that style. Because these work this way, you can apply just standard styles like font size to these. So we could say 48. That sounds good. It's probably pretty plenty big. Oh, well, yeah, plenty big. Okay, so we can see now we've got a nice bus, and that's cool. You know, and if I wanted to do some other ones, I could do like taxi, right? Ooh, a fancy taxi, right? And there's a bunch of different ones. You know, in fact, there's almost... 2,000 plus icons out there. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that these are case sensitive. So, if I type bus with a lowercase b, well, never mind, I'm a liar. Apparently, that's too, <laughs> that works. <laughs> awesome. Okay. But what if I wanted to do something like uh, a boat, right? So, I'm just going to guess. Surely there's a boat, there's a bus, there's a taxi, there's a car, all these other things. So, preview. No boat. That's terrifying. That's sad. So, what if I want to go find out if there's a boat somewhere? So, well, some of the tools we've shown before are if you go to like uh, aka.ms slash fluent UI, you'll be taken to this lovely site. And if you go to styles and we click on iconography, and if we scroll down past all this code details that we don't care about for this, we can see there's some icons here, right? So I'll search for boat. You know, just typed in boat here, no results, very sad. Now, there's a couple of issues with this, right? Um, if I look down eventually, if I scroll and I'm very, very careful, I might see that there is, in fact, a boat icon. Right? Oh, there it is. 
Fairy Solid. Of course, of course it's called Fairy Solid. That makes sense. All right, so now if I type in Fairy, there it is, right? So I can use that now, but I have to type in Fairy, um, and I have to hover over to see what the actual name is. So there's some less than desirable things here, um, including, I don't know what the heck this sort order is, right? So it's not alphabetical. I don't even know what it is. So that's one tool you can use. There's another tool here that's referenced as the Fluent UI Icons tool. If we head over there, this is one I actually like a little better. This is the one I've sent end users to before. When you create like a column and we want to say what icon it is, and you say, go pick out icons, and then we'll show them there. Um, I've sent them here. And this is much better. It has the same problem. Though. If I search boat, I'm still not going to find anything. Um, and the sort order is a little weird. But it has nice features, like if I right click, I can say copy friendly name, so I don't have to remember, you know, whatever this was, admin A logo inverse 32, very catchy, right? I can just copy that friendly name and I'm good to go. So I copy that, I head over back to here and in my icon namespace, paste that and I preview and there it is, right? So that's pretty cool. Just to close the loop with type in fairy. Ooh, pretty. And that's great. And now one of the really powerful things about this site though, is that it can be used to generate your own font files. So if you're doing some hardcore coding outside of list formatting and you really want to have just a subset, right? you can generate your own font files. It's very, very cool. The other thing about this, though, is icons are added here before they're actually added to UI Fabric. So they'll show up, or Fluent UI, I should say. Uh, they're added here before then, so there's some icons that are going to show up here that are actually not available to you yet, and that can be really frustrating. So I want to talk about a brand new tool uh, that we can use now. So it's called Flycon. So it's flycon.io. Go there. We'll check this out. This site is live. It's in beta. So interested in all your feedback on it. But this is an idea of it's a fluent icon search. All right. So now, for instance, we solve some of the problems. Like if I search boat, hey, it shows up. All right. Or my classic is a uh, dog. Right. So I used to always search dog. Right, but how would I have known that that was actually Fang body, right? But now I could search by dog, and there it is. Some of the other things you can do here are that we've got full-on categories here. So if I just wanted to see what vehicles are there, right? I don't want to scroll through that giant list. There they are. There's all the vehicles, so I can easily do some pretty cool stuff here, right? So if I come down here, I've got all my different categories. I can search between them, uh, do whatever I need to. I've got some of that same kind of copy functionality, right? So if I hover over, add bookmark. I can actually hit this button and it's copied to my clipboard. And I can come in here and I can paste that as well. Right, so very helpful. And that's one thing you can do here. Now, if we take a look um, on top of that, so if I pick something like games and sports, right, we can see this. Um, if you want to check out your theme styles, right, there's full theme support here. So if I want to switch this to orange or red, or let's just go straight up dark blue. Right, so you can start to see how these icons might look uh, directly inside your site. Right now, if you don't like some of these uh, kind of default ones, right, there's some other options down here. All right, so for one, we'll make these large. If you want to show the name all the time, you don't like that box, whatever you want to do, but there's some advanced color options here. So by default, it's the neutral primary color that's shown, but if you wanted to say, always oh, show them in red, right, and you want the uh, box background because you're not a good designer like me, uh, yellow light, oh, that's beautiful, right? So. I can even come in here and I can say, let's do a custom color, right? So we'll kind of change that up. But the whole idea here is that I can really see how these icons might look. So we'll come back here. Uh, we'll go back here. All right. And we'll take a look. So one of the things we can do also is when we're looking at these, we can see variations right here. We can see the different colors those might appear. We can also export it in as, as an SVG. So we can export that, and we just get a nice trophy too solid. We click on that. There it is. Beautiful. So this is a great way to kind of get more familiar with the icons, much more consumable format. So the idea here is to make things a little easier uh, for end users and for people that don't want to mess with all the extra code and everything else. You just want to be able to grab icons and be able to find them, right? Because it can be very frustrating having 2,000 plus icons, some with very, very strange names that apply specifically to what Microsoft intended but maybe it has nothing to do with what you intended, right? You know, an airplane is a good example of that. So if we type in airplane, you'll see this one, airplane, airplane, but this one's called arrivals, right? And so that can be a little frustrating, uh, but pulling all these out, you can really find exactly what you're looking for very quickly. So let's take a look and review. Come back over here. 
So using your icons in the formats, right? Just apply it with the attributes. You can use icon name. Uh, apparently, this is no longer true. So that's great news. We can get rid of that, though. Boop. Okay, so not every icon is supported. Um, that's not too bad right now with the flycon.io, uh, but there is some features coming that should make that a little more obvious what is and isn't supported everywhere. Um, and again, you can apply sizes and colors, and you can do theme support. So icons are really awesome for all of that. Now, in fact, what if I want to use an icon here? Now, PowerPoint has a ton of icons, but what if I want to use, I mean, obviously, it's a presentation about the Fluent UI icons. So here's a, a thing we can do, right? So if we were to type in that, uh, say, dog again, right? We take our dog. We're going to export that. We're going to save it as SVG. We can actually just grab that, head over to PowerPoint, and just drop it right on. All right, so now we've got a nice little icon directly in our PowerPoint. We can use those wherever we need to. We can open those up. Um, and do all sorts of cool stuff, right? So we'll just change the color of that. To, ooh, that's pretty. All right, so there you go. So that's pretty cool. So check out flycon.io. It is free and will remain free. It's got full categories and tags, the theme support, some more stuff with themes is coming soon, um, and some additional export options as well. But I'm interested in your feedback. Uh, there's links in there to provide feedback for, say, maybe you don't think the category was correct or you don't think the tags were correct. Uh, very possible. It takes a lot of time to categorize 2,000 plus icons so, and do that manually. So I'd be happy to have your feedback on that. So here's some of the links for those items here. These are the two uh, other browsers I showed you, and then this is the flycon.io. I'm sure the uh, David or whoever else has been pasting all those links down there. Uh, it, it was just launched this morning. So if there's any issues with DNS or anything, just let me know. Okay, that's all I got. Thanks. Very cool. Thank you. Um, I don't understand why you didn't understand that was called Fang Body. It's pretty obvious, but, uh, you know, we do what we can. So with that, thank you, Chris. Another fantastic demo. Very excited to see that new service. Uh, definitely, everybody, check that out. Feedback uh, is always appreciated and uh, excited to have another tool for everybody's tool belt as they're doing their development. Mm -hmm.